in English since I just remembered that uh, I heard some rumors about Rosie uh, uh, is getting a groom. So she may be remarried again, maybe. He's a handsome guy. So that's uh, the opportunity I was talking about, maybe just marry a good guy. And of course, to my amazing people, my name is Ergo Diamba and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. I hope you guys are doing good na mungu bado anaziri kwa linda. So currently today ni kwamba ni mekuja tu kwa kikisho kwamba lazima ni wape updates of what exactly happens within the ground. Our sister ambaya na julika na kama Rosie, amekuwa one of the trending na watu amekuwa kimuzo kuzia. But so far leo hii mekuja tu kuzumuzia hii ni bada ya tu ya the boss ambaya likuwa ni boss wake akiwa pale maineo za leba na unkupata kuja ku a uh, ku uh, kutuambia yani uhoa ndio ama kutuaumbea uh, fulani ambaye kwa kweli najua kumba kila mtu akupata kufahamu so uh, kutoka kwa uh, kutoka kwa boss wake amepata ku uh, kutupea information kwamba uh, Rosie anapanga kuwa anta, atakuwa anaoleka but so far tujajua ni nani exactly atakuwa nao Rosie because the other time tumeona kwamba bwanake alipata kuja pale na kawa nazungumza kwa maneno magumu sana akiwa anasema kwamba haizi endelea vizuri asipokuwa na Rosie and nakumbuka kwamba pia kuna time ambapo Rosie pia alikuja na akasema kwamba a uh, ile uhusiano mahusiano ambayo alikuwa nayo ya kwanza baba watoto haikuwa ni mahusiano mazuri na kwa kweli hakuwa nataka atarudi pale kwa sababu it was a toxic a toxic relationship ambayo alipata kusema pale na akasema kwamba hana nia na hana ana msimamo wa kutana kwenda kupata kurudi pa kurudi pale katika ile ndoa lakini bwana kawa amepata kujitokeza pale na kawa anazungumza akisema kwamba yeye bado anapenda rozi anaweza fanya chochote kile kwa sababu ya rozi kwa sababu bado anapenda rozi na anapenda pia watoto sasa uh, boss wake amepata tu kutugudulia asili ni kwamba rozi anapanga kufanya harusi na tufahamu ni lini atakuwa anafanya hii harusi. I just want you guys mpate kusikiza kwanza kutoka kwa boss wake what the boss had to say about tarozi uh, kuhusiana na rozi kupata kufanya harusi because so far amepata kuzungumzia kwamba rozi atakuwa anafanya harusi but we don't know exactly when rozi atakuwa anafanya hii harusi na je itakuwa ni nani. Wacha kidogo tumsikize kutoka kwa boss wake. As in English, since I just remembered that uh, I heard some rumors about rozi uh, uh, is getting a groom. So she may be remarried again, maybe. He's a handsome guy. So that's the opportunity I was talking about, maybe just marry a good guy and uh, stay with her kids together, make a good family. So what wangu nguvu umepata tu kusikiza kutoka kwa that is uh, the boss wake Rosie ambaye anapata kuelezea anasema kwamba there is a possibility ya kwamba Rosie atakuwa anafanya harusi. Bara tuja arujafahamu kwamba ni harusi atakuwa anafanywa wapi kwa sababu sasa hizi tunajua kiwamba kiela a uh, uh, rozi yako sawa sana kiela na pia tuweze sema kwamba hana kazi kwa sababu sasa hizi shughuli zake za kwenda Canada ziko karibu kutimia na atakuwa anasafiri kuelekea Canada so uh, the boss amepata tu kutuelezea kwamba atakuwa anafanya harusi are they are they are planning also to marry unajua sana sana sasa hivi tuseme kwamba uh, mambo yake yani ya mapenzi ama uh, relationship sana hajapata kuyaweka wazi that is rozi rozi hajapata kuyaweka wazi amekuwa akinyamaza sana but the only thing ambayo alipata kusema ni kwamba alikuwa hapo awali katika mahusiano na mahusiano haya yakuwa endelea hayakuwa anafanya vyema sana na kadimiti yeye binafsi kwamba yule bwana ambaye alikuwa naye wa kwanza kuwa ni mtu mzuri alikuwa ni mtu ambaye walikuwa napigana kidogo unajua mambo na toxic relationship ile uhusiano uh, ambao kwa kweli sometimes ampate kusikilizana vita inaweza pata kutokea watu wakapata kuumia so akasema kwamba hiyo ndio sababu kubwa ambayo ilipata kumfanya katoka kwa ile ndoa na akasema kwamba wacha nini nijaribu pale maeneo za Lebanon through Lebanon alipokuwa kirudi uh, Gavla bin Fu uh, dada yetu akaanza kuwa one of the trending so so far yeye mambo na relationship alijapata kuyaweka wazi but tumeona kwamba pale kwenye mitandao watu wanapata kuzungumza and also the husband happy to tell kitokeza na kaongea na akasema kwamba yale yote ambayo alikuwa na Uh, yani Rozi alikuwa anasema ni uongo na hajai pata kupiga Rozi na Rozi alikuwa ni mpenzi wake na bado anampenda na angetaka warudiane kwa minaji ile wale watoto. I don't know the comment section. What do you have to say about this? Je, wewe ni binafsi unaweza pata kurudiana na yule tuseme kwamba your ex. Kwa sababu sasa hizi nasikia watu wengi wanaimba sana wakisema kwamba hawezi rudiana na yule mtu ambaye walikuwa naye kwenye mahusiano hapo awali. Reconciliation is not happening. So We have heard that uh, Rozi atakuwa anafanya harusi but so far tujui exactly nyinyi personally when mtu anapata kuweka vitu zake hivi chini ya maji sana yet people are talking about it 
What do you unaweza sema nini kuhusiana na Rose kupata kuficha? Watu wanasikiza tu fununu kwamba ya ye anapanga kuwa watakuwa nafanya rusi. Ando unajua kitu mba imesha fika, imefikia mpaka ule bosu wake. Mbali kuwa hapa wali bosu wake anaelewa kwamba watakuwa nafanya rusi. It's something that all, all, has already been planned. So atujuu kwamba watakuwa nafanya rusi kwanza. Ndiya safiri kuenda Canada ama taenda Canada. Ndiya rudi badai na atafanya ya rusi. We are not still aware. The other thing pia bosu wake amiguzia story ya Canada. Watu walikuwa watu walikuwa wamepata kufurahia sana kwamba dada yetu pia atakuwa na safari kuelekea Canada the other thing ni kwamba hiyo Canada the boss amepata kuzungumzia lakini anasema kwamba uh, uh, Canada arajua mambo na Canada the, the, the lady Rosie atakuwa na travel to Canada ili baada tu ya pia kusema kwamba Rosie akaendelea tu kaa nyumbani so unajua vitu zimekuwa mingi sana you know vitu zimekuwa mingi sana and i don't know why people wanapata kuongelelea sana the only thing mimi personally naweza pata kusema ni kwamba It is time for Rosie to shine watu watu waache kuzungumzia sana watu waache negativity waache msiana wenyewe apate kungaa na pia kupambana because when she made a decision kwamba nataka ku travel to uh, Lebanon ah uh, yende alikuwa ameamua so kuna watu ambao pia mkuja pale wanaanza kusema oh uh, the lady anatumika Rosie alikuwa anatumika nini nini Rosie ni mtu mwingine mkubwa mzima jamani mtu ambaye pia yende alikuwa ameamua kuelekea kama wewe ndio ulimpeleka Lebanon itakuwa ni vyema sana pia ukizungumza kwa sababu the person mwenye alimpeleka Lebanon ni yeye binafsi ndiye alikuwa amejiamulia na aka decide na mind yake ni kwamba anataka saa kuelekea Lebanon wacha nikajaribu maisha huko so the other people who are coming wanakuja na maneno mengi sana wanapata kuzungumzia huyu madara they are only giving her pressure 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 pressure, pressure. even though alifanyia Aziad when Aziad was rising to fame ile time Aziad alikuwa na uh, ame trend sasa Aziad eh, ni Aziad watu walimtafutia nini nini watu walianza kati kila mtu uh, namba wanampigia kila mahali because the lady was trending now it's time for the lady also our rosy to trend mwache kumzungumzia vibaya ni mbona watu wamesema kwamba nini watu naongelea vitu mingi sana mm, wenye apende watoto wake that lady kama hako anapenda watoto wake ange ange kama hako anapenda watoto wake tungeona watoto wake kweli Oh, we are seeing the, the kids when you're mingara, nini, nini. Watu wanasema kwamba anaendelea anaenda kulinda wale wengine na acha wengine. There is nothing like that. The lady alikuwa anafanya everything that she wanted. Like amefanya chochote ile yeye alikuwa anaishi kwamba iko sawa na yanafaa. So if you guys are going to talk about her kila mtu anaanza kumzungumzia kumzungumzia. You're wasting your time. Let the lady enjoy herself. Uh, that is the fruit. Yenda alienda akashughulika, akafanya kila kitu. Give her time. Let the lady enjoy herself. There is no need of us coming here and talk kuzo kumongelelea oh nini nini amefanya nini amefanya nini let her enjoy si tunajua kwamba tunaongoja tu harusi tunayo atuna tunayo let's wait and see nani atakuja because i know exactly during our marriage tutakuja tuone pale mari moja safi sana and yeah at a decide when the right times comes because the boss pia ameshaguzia hatuwezi jua because alisema possibility alisema kwamba sio yule so it means hata akiwa ni kama But mimi according to mimi what I can realize ni kwamba ama what I can change naweza sema ni kwamba akiwa Lebanon ni kama somehow she, she was dating somebody. So that's why the boss anajua kitu kidogo. So inaweza kuwa because ile ukaribu ni kama aliwahi share akiwa the other side. So the boss is aware that in case wanaweza kuwa nafanya harusi. Unaona? Kitu kama hiyo tu. So ni kama walikuwa nafanya wana date the other side. So hapa wanajua. So ule wa kwanza baba watoto alikuwa shatengwa. So huyo mtu next we want to know huyo mtu next according to the analysis kuna mtu hapo we want to know tutajua tu so meanwhile guys i goes by the name see at the comment section una sema nini kuhusiana na hii mambo kwamba inaweza kuwa alikuwa na date the other side and also so far ni kama watakuwa nafanya harusi and that is what is outside there kwa sababu boss wake tayari ash admit I goes by the name Edgo the Yamba and I'm a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya. Thank you for always tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel for more updates.